Today I wanted to talk to like a little owner's review, I guess, uh, even though this hasn't been super long, of the Halvarsons Mora jacket. Um, Moto Legends has a really good overview of all the features um, and construction, but there's not a whole lot of like owner feedback after having worn this in various temperatures. And I had the chance to do so, and from you know American perspective, um, and I can also provide a little bit of sizing help. And let's get right into that because I think that's the, the where there's the least feedback online. Um, this is a size 52. Uh, and European, um, and that's usually where I fall in most European brands. Uh, depending on the cut, it can be a little snug or a little bit, uh, or, or spot on, like the Italians tend to run a little bit more snug. Um, and for me, I found uh, this 52 to fit me very well uh, with a little bit more room around the waist and belly than something like a Dainese or Speedy 52 would have. Um, so my Current uh, physique is about 180 pounds, um, 5 feet 10. I have about just shy of a 42 inch chest and a 32 inch uh, jeans waist. And the fit is really good. I, I do have to snug it in a little bit around the lower body. So like I said, it's a little more generous than something like a, um, a, a Dionysia 52, uh, but the fit's really good. Um, so hopefully that helps if you're, you're interested in this and, and trying to figure out where that size chart fit uh, falls in. I'd say it's pretty too, pretty true to the size chart with a little bit more uh, space. Um, and let's go right from that into the overall uh, exterior. Like I said, Moto Legends does has a great walkthrough, so I'm gonna be pretty brief on that. Um, but you do have a removable storm color that attaches with a magnet here at the front. You take that off um, and it's just got a nice little fleece line interior. It's going to be wind blocking uh, and keep you warm. And so when you have that off, you have kind of your warmer weather collar. Um, this is one of the nicest collar designs I've seen on any jacket with the ability to go very high if you need to, have a very comfortable lower collar normally with uh, this really nice kind of double adjustment system where you can snug it down as needed. And then fasten with Velcro here, you have um, a fairly lightweight material here. It's not like neoprene um, like some jackets do. It's, it's similar to um, some of the other fabrics they use. And so this does kind of have a chance to get um, pilled by like a beard or something similar, but it's very comfortable. And then for true hot weather riding, you can do a really nice tab back. There's a magnet hiding somewhere in here, right over, he right over here. And there's a magnet here that the uh, collar attaches to, and that is your tab back position. So that holds it nice and wide open and with the zipper, you know, lightly undone, I was getting just a tremendous amount of airflow right down through my chest from this alone. Um, so fantastic system. Um, rest of the exterior, you have this really soft touch um, 600D nylon as the primary face fabric. Uh, you can see here, this is the, the color that looks kind of um, almost like an olive green online. In, in reality, it's just a very mild muted gray. Um, they also have a like all black with white zippers and then a navy blue and black. Um, but while the main material is this 600D nylon, um, this being Halvarsons, uh, whose focus is safety uh, almost more than almost any other brand, at least in terms of con like material doubling and construction, um, you have uh, some additional overlays here. So this darker gray material is actually a reflective thread nylon. Um, so I'll show a quick photo of that. Uh, it's not like massively reflective, but it is a little bit extra visibility um, at the top of your shoulders. Um, you have a decorative um, uh, like suede overlay here at the top of the shoulders. Again, like you're not gonna be hitting there, so it's just decorative, but there's more stacks of material. Um, this is quite thick and quilted here. Uh, at the shoulder so again that's adding more material between your skin and an impact and then behind that is their uh, high art abrasion resistant material which is like a, a terry loop um, polyester the loops facing out um, if you're really nerdy about material science uh, motocap has done testing and recommends that sort of material as a inner abrasion resistance layer um, you can make it out of a number of things, but basically if you wear all the way through that, um, a 
loop knit with the loops facing out um, is remarkably good at being a secondary impact layer. So again, this is all multiple layers of, of material all the way through here. Um, and then it's the same story down here at the elbows. You have this uh, suede actually, you know, yeah, you've got a bit of a gap here, but in a kind of dirt or um, light pavement spill, the suede's probably gonna eat some impact without affecting the uh, main nylon. And then again, on the interior, you have more high art running all the way down and then behind that, your armor. Um, at the inside of the arm, there is a strip, a widening strip from here that runs up underneath the armpit of a stretch fabric. Um, so that's going to promote additional comfort on the arms. Um, this is the only external shell material that doesn't have a polyurethane coating on the back. So this is going to allow a small amount of air through. Uh, so in cold weather, if you don't have the windproof liner in, you will notice that, uh, along with a little bit through the coil zippers. Um, and then down here at the cuffs, the cuffs are uh, easy to open up. And with this gusset and double-headed double zipper, they open quite wide. I had no issues getting a quite bulky uh, five TFX gauntlet underneath if, and close it down uh, nice and snug to block the wind. And then of course, if you wanna go over top with one of those like big gauntlets that you have an elastic to snug down, there's no issues doing that as well. Uh, you have a double popper here. Um, metal to have really good longevity. Uh, Rucka actually uses a very similar system with an elastic to kind of snug that elbow armor in. Up top here on the sleeves, you have a BOA derivative, um, wind wire they call it. So that's a steel cable. I believe it's steel? Uh, no, it looks like nylon cable here. But anyway, a cable that you can then wind to snug down around your bicep. You have this really long double headed it's a little bit hard to zip down from the top actually because it does like to snag it's easier to pull from the bottom up but you have this really long vent and this vent is great because when you're sitting on the bike it starts here and wraps kind of in a it's not a straight line it wraps up and around so the top part if you zip it down a little bit it's actually like a, a upper bicep vent and so it's enough to get a good amount of airflow if you run all the way down it's it's pretty tremendous honestly that vent does almost the most work um Continuing on the vent discussion, you have these two outboards here. Uh, all their vents are safety stitched with this strip of uh, extra material, so they're not going to rip open in a in a crash or in a um, you know situation where you might have a lot of force pulling at it. You have that reinforcement because it's also stitched. It like helps the vent stay open um, because it wants to kind of push that whole area out. So good double purpose there. You have combination pocket and extra vents here. We already talked about the ability to open the middle up for airflow. Um, other notes, you have a couple pockets down here. They're top loading. Um, I don't know if they're waterproof or just water resistant, to be honest. Um, they're magnetic closure with Velcro. You have this sliding side adjuster. And I will go ahead and flip this around. Um, which has a double attachment point here, so it's kind of snugging it down from both directions um, with a single pivot on the front and double at the back. The one thing I did find is although there's that slide at the front, um, as you apply tension, it does seem to pull up on its own to a kind of a more upper position. So if you wanted to apply more, um, you know, pull, pulling material in a little bit further down, like, like for me, I, I would have preferred that. Um, I find it just, it, it kind of picks its, its position, um, but not a big deal. It still does a good job pulling everything in. And then at the bottom, you have a simple Velcro gusset to kind of adjust the waist. Um, and then the other note here is for flexibility. I talked about that stretch on the inside. You have really nice big pleats here and here uh, to promote easy flexibility and if you're like maybe more in a sport touring position this work really good for that if you're leaning forward in three quarters no binding if you're doing adventure riding moving around on the bike whatever uh, this would be fantastic and then you have a large uh, always open vent but the material is quite a bit up inside and it has a flap in there uh, so you're not going to get water driving up or really much wind driving up um, but you are going to have a continuously open exhaust to get hot air 
and moisture out from behind. You have some reflectives here in, in addition to the reflective thread. Um, more reflectives down here, all nicely blended in uh, with the material colors. Um, and that is about it for the shell exterior. So let me just briefly cover the interior. Um, it's pretty simple. You've got a waterproof pocket access here uh, without having to unzip. Uh, so that's in front of the waterproof liner. Um, so you can stick something in there that you want to have access to, but you don't want getting wet or I guess water resistant, it says. Um, and then you have no other, uh, one, yeah, one other uh, pocket, again, um, accessible without going through the waterproof liner, which I currently have out. You have two back projector pockets, uh, depending on which we want to use. One fits like a more traditional D3 O Viper style um, size. And then behind the liner, they have Velcro for one of their massive, um, you know, full length, full back sized uh, back protectors as well, or like something like a big Alpine Star or something. But uh, because it is a Velcro attachment, um, you need to either out Velcro or use one that has that built in. For the smaller pocket that, that just zips open, um, again, you can fit just about any back protector in there without any issues. Um, and with that, let me briefly talk about the armor that comes with the jacket. Um, this is kind of the stock armor. It's very, like a, a very, very dense rubbery foam. Uh, it is not my favorite armor. It is um, very hard, and especially the shoulders, um, which this is not the shoulder piece, this is the elbow one, but the shoulders, it kind of cuts into your arm when you move around, and it can be a little uncomfortable. Um, but it is extremely protective. It's a level two, it's temp, stable, but for both hot and cold. Again, Halvarsons prioritizes safety above pretty much anything else, um, so they're, they're very conscious of that. And all of their armor uses Velcro, with a uh, um, hook on the armor and loop inside uh, that you can adjust the position on on the fly, very long strips. Um, but that does mean that if you want to swap armor around, you have to use something that also has Velcro. Um, so uh, what they do have though, is they have their newer armor, um, which some of their newer items are coming with. Uh, and this is a very easy replacement. This is the shoulder piece, technically shoulder, elbow, knee. Um, it is enormous, it is extremely light and very flexible. And I was able to swap out the existing shoulders with this, uh, with the Velcro with no issues, and you literally don't even notice it uh, with this in, despite the incredible coverage. Again, I, I saw it so it like wraps all the way around. It's like not even having armor in. Um, the last bit to talk about uh, is the waterproof and windproof liner. Uh, so it's not really a thermal liner. Uh, it does have an outlast internal um, coating, layer? I'm not quite sure the right term for that. Um, but that's, it's, that's not really warming. That's kind of temperature regulating. So if you're really hot, it should absorb some of the heat and cool you down a little bit. If it's had time to heat up, and it's cold, it should release some of that heat. It's like a paraffin thing. Um, so it's it's nice to have, but you need your own thermal uh, besides this. However, it is using a, um, they call it like their, their Dryway 2.0 um, waterproof, which if I remember correctly, I've seen is actually a house branded version of Sympatex, a polyester membrane that is excellent. This zips in uh, all the way around and then also at the cuffs. Uh, it is very nicely finished with a neoprene-like uh, collar and wind flap um, that then also Velcro's closed with a, a additional flap inside. Uh, so again, everything that they've done here is incredibly well finished. Um, it also has its own uh, mating zipper to a um, you know pant, a Helvarsons pant. Um, so yeah, everything is incredibly well made. They are asking about $600-ish, depending on, on the foreign pricing from the US for this. Um, but what you're getting is probably the best uh, multi, like non-waterproof touring jacket on the market today. Uh, the, the, the one miss for me is there's no way to, as it comes stock, add any other chest protectors. You have to use a standalone. Um, and I did find that when I was riding in the heat with the collar open, that push the the wind uh, kind of push 
the fabric against my chest and I wasn't getting a lot, you know, as much airflow as I could have been through. But for me, I've worn this um, with just the liner and like uh, no significant thermal underneath from the mid 40s Fahrenheit. I've worn this all the way up to 90 Fahrenheit. Uh, I was getting a little warm there and I was getting a little cool. Um, but I think if your temperature range doesn't need extreme heat and you have thermals or a heat liner for the serious cold, this can be your all-in-one year-round. An excellent option and um, one I like very much. I hope that helped. If you have any questions about sizing or features, let me know in the comments and I'll always be happy to answer.